Hi, this is Pastor Randy. As I record this, there is a huge plume of dust from the Sahara Desert that is moving its way up through the Midwest. Experts are warning that those who have respiratory problems may want to avoid spending too much time outside. But they also remind us that because of the dust particles in the air, all the sunrises and sunsets for the next day or so may be really spectacular. It seems to be the rule that the most beautiful things come from times that were not so beautiful. It's the struggle to get out of the cocoon that makes the butterfly's wings form properly. It's the effort to break through the shell that makes the chick strong enough to thrive. And it's in the tough times of our lives that we grow the most. We become stronger and we become better. The cross is an example of how God took something that was awful and, to tur and then turned it into something that was beautiful. Paul writes in Romans chapter 5, verse 8, God demonstrates his own love for us in this, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. He goes on to say in Romans chapter 8, verse 31, If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? This is the hope that we have, even in the worst times of our lives, that God is for us, that God wants the best for us, that there is no length that God won't go to in order to take care of his children. It's in tough times like these that we grow and mature. The cross of Jesus is God's declaration of love to us. And it's a reminder that God is forever working things together for good for those who love him. Until next time, this is Pastor Randy. Be safe, love one another, and trust in God.